This program is sponsored by Bet's Gold Coin. Join us for family friendly dining. Hello, folks. This is Marshall Long, District Race Supervisor, coming to you from the 3MC Studios in downtown Mariposa at the historic Mariposa Hotel. This is Mariposa County Update, and I want to welcome you to the show. I'm going to start out today going over the agenda from the past meeting on July 4, Tuesday, July 14th. Uh, talking about the actions of the Board of Supervisors on that day. And before we get started, just a reminder that the agenda, the minutes, and the recording of the minutes are always available on uh, the Mariposa County website. That's www.mariposacounty.org. Click on the Board of Supervisors button, go to the Agenda and Minutes tab, and you can click and find any meeting uh, that we've had that, uh, that's available to you online all the time. Uh, again, if you have any questions for your board, any member or administration, the phone number is 966-3222. Let's get started on the agenda. It was a pretty light day yesterday until the afternoon. Consent agenda was passed unanimously. Uh, some of the things that were in the consent agenda uh, continued the uh, local drought emergency, of course, and the local emergency did the landslide, the Ferguson project. Um, also approved grant agreement for the use of Title III funding um, twice. And of course, uh, sometimes we have employees who become ill and we like, the employees like to be able to give sick leave to their uh, compatriots, their, their fellow employees. Uh, we passed a resolution to allow that to happen for a, an employee of the county. So the, the uh, consent agenda was relatively uh, non-controversial. And just as a reminder, the consent agenda are those items which are usually just routine items that come up to the board on a regular basis and it can be passed as one uh, under one motion. It's also, can, they, each item can also be pulled by a member or by the member of the public when they come to the podium to discuss it. So that was the consent agenda. Uh, board recognitions was uh, by the Ag Commissioner and uh, we proclaimed the week of July 20th through 26, 2015 as the Californian Base of Awareness Week. As you're well aware, there are many types of invasive species in Mariposa County. Uh, those that are well known would be yellow star thistle, uh, Atlantis, the trees of heaven, and it's the Ag Commissioner brought this forward to bring um, bring it to the forefront so, to remind people that, as she says, a weed a day uh, to pull a weed a day to help out. So uh, that was passed unanimously. Um, on the regular agenda items. Uh, Rosalind Allison from the Mariposa County Resource Conservation District uh, presented a, uh, a, gave a presentation on what the Mariposa County Resource Conservation District does in Mariposa County. They bring in millions of dollars of grants for resource conservation and over, it, it's something that's been very beneficial to Mariposa County to protect our resources and it, it's something that the board supports. Uh, there have been some public works brought forth, some, some change orders to some contracts for, the first would be um, for George Reed for Dogtown, Bondurant, Shelling Roads uh, on, in District 2. Those are uh, upgrades to the contract to make sure that those roads uh, are well done and all of the work necessary is done so the roads last for a long time. Uh, in my district, uh, uh, change order number one to the contract with Thai Court construction for Mount Bullion Cutoff Road uh, was increased up to $1,700,000 and that's so that phase one uh, which is a section of road that's already done from Highway 49 towards Highway 140 which is already complete matches up with phase two which will go almost all the way to Highway 140. So the road will be done to the same standards all the way through. And just as a reminder, folks, that road won't go, won't be completely redone all the way to Highway 140. There is a stretch of about 200 feet at Highway 140 that will not be done because that is under Caltrans control. It will be their responsibility to rehab that section of road. Uh, the local transportation commission uh, had a meeting. Uh, I am the chair for that. Uh, 
adopt a resolution approving the transportation planning overall work program for fiscal year 2015 and 16 and also uh, approve an agreement with KPFF to conduct the Mariposa Town Transit Center feasibility study and that is for a feasibility study for Transit Center here in downtown Mariposa. Uh, continuing on, um, for the Community Services Area 1M Don Pedro, uh, there was a uh, bid submitted to, for uh, grazing on land in Don Pedro subdivision on a piece of ground the county owns. Uh, there Apparently there was uh, some mis a mistake had been made in that bidding process so it was brought back uh, to the board and we had to rebid that. Uh, so this bid was substantially over what was originally bid, but so it brings in more funds to the county and at the same time the cattle is still able to run their, their, run their cattle on the pasture. Uh, there was a closed session scheduled for uh, yesterday morning. It was, uh, that would be a closed session uh, conference with legal counsel, existing litigation, Merced Irrigation District versus County Mariposa. That was uh, postponed because uh, apparently there was a problem with uh, the attorney, so we couldn't speak to them. In the afternoon, there was a very long, tedious hearing. I was not a part of it because I had to recuse myself because of a financial interest. Uh, my land had a mine on it that uh, if it, it could have affected my property value, so I had to recuse myself. But the rest of the board uh, told, uh, instructed planning to come back with option two on the mining resolution, um, and that will uh, bring back uh, a, an ordinance to the board to put a conditional use permit on mining in Mariposa County on ag and working landscape parcels of 160 acres or larger. Again, if you have any questions about anything on the agenda and you want to talk to your board member, members, the 966-3222 or contact us at mariposacounty.org. Well, that's the agenda, folks. I'm going to move on and introduce my guest for today. I'm very glad to have with us today Tony Stoby, who is our new Public Works Director. Welcome, Tony, to the show. Thank Appreciate you, Marshall. Appreciate you having here. Very happy to be here. Thank uh, you. It's, it's great having you here. You've been here how long now? Uh, I started March 3rd, so I guess that'd be four months. Four months, and you're already doing a great job. Uh, I mean, you, you've, you came from Colorado, your family just got here, and uh, I think Chairman Jones let you know when we hired you, when we offered you the position that there were a few problems in Public Works that needed to be dealt with. Uh, so that you didn't walk into it blind, but so far you're doing a great job, and I certainly want you to continue doing that job. But tell us a, tell us a little bit about yourself first. Well, you bet. So, so for those that I haven't had the pleasure to meet, I uh, spent 20 years in the United States Coast Guard. Uh, during that time, I was about half a mariner, uh, working my way up through the chain of command on ships, and actually had the privilege of commanding two different ships up in Alaska. So yeah. there's some interesting sea stories behind that yeah. five years of my life. But the other half of my career, I was uh, an engineer. So the last engineering type job I had in the Coast Guard, I was the equivalent of a public works director on the largest Coast Guard base, which is in Kodiak, Alaska. And we ran our own water and wastewater systems and had right. to deal with bears crossing runways and all a whole multitude of problems. So <laughs> I would say I'm somewhat experienced in complex problems, which I think is beneficial in the current in the job I currently have here in Mariposa. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons we hired you, because we knew you had that experience, and, and the, the experience that you had in the Coast Guard is a good fit for public works here in Mariposa County. I agree. I found yeah. myself to be, uh, I think I'm pretty well equipped for this job. I think that the uh, magnitude and diversity of the problems have been a little bit of a surprise, but I, I like a good challenge. As I think they've been a surprise to some members of the board also. <laughs> uh, but we're working together and we're going to solve the issues. We're going to get the board's going to give you the tools you need, the time you need to do it. Uh, it but get back to, your, to you a little bit. Uh, tell us a little bit about your family. You bet. So I brought with me to Mariposa my wife Dawn and my three younger children. Uh, Two of them are going to be in high school, and uh, one of them's uh, going to go be in sixth grade. And then I have a, 
an adult out of the house who uh, his name's Ethan and he's going to college in the Bay Area. So yeah. we're glad to be closer to him. So we've actually been able to see him a couple times. Because you came from Colorado. That is correct. So after I left the Coast Guard, I, I went to the University of California to get a master's in business administration. And so during that process, kind of had to figure out a place to land and we preferred Colorado. So that's, that's where we lived for a couple years, but mm -hmm. really glad to be in Mariposa and have felt very welcomed. And uh, this is my style and my speed, I can definitely say that. Yeah, and we're glad to have you here. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of issues that Public Works deals with. It's, it's not just roads, uh, airport. Absolutely, I would say airport, cemeteries, parks and rec, facilities maintenance. Uh, water and wastewater treatment, big ones. Uh, solid waste facility, yeah. uh, you know, and then uh, lots of things that people aren't necessarily aware of is, you know, exercising control over all the roadways. So it's not just the roads; it's the encroachments mm -hmm. onto those roads. Even the simple matter of somebody putting a driveway in from their property to the road is something the Public Works yeah. Department has to be involved in. Yeah. And, and, and that's one of the things that I like to stress to folks is is if you're doing driveway work or encroaching upon a county road or or if you have any questions in, uh, you know on, on engineering things and such that make sure you get a hold of public works because they're there for you they're, they're not just you provide a service to the public uh, in many ways but also customer service directly absolutely and and, and that's important that uh, I'd rather f folks came and asked you a question before they did something and then have a problem after. It's certainly um, better to have that conversation at the beginning of a project yeah. than to have to come in after the fact and to try to uh, make sure all the proper permitting is in place. It's easier beforehand, absolutely. Yeah. Biggest challenge right now? Uh, I would say that is our, the current condition of our, well, there's infrastructure problems throughout the county. Right. I'd say the thing that I am spending the most time on these days uh, in addition to the roads would be our water and wastewater systems. The county's got six such systems, either treating water and delivering it to customers right. or uh, treating wastewater and, and properly disposing of it. And those are very highly regulated activities, as you can imagine. So uh, making sure that we're, we're doing that properly is, is an issue. And uh, making that even more difficult at the moment is the current drought. So right. one great example of that is we have a wastewater treatment plan in Lake Don Pedro that was designed for a certain level of build out and a certain level of influent, the, right. the, the sewage coming into the plant, and it's operating at about a quarter of what we designed as the minimum amount of stuff to come in. So it's a very interesting problem to deal with. And, and because there's not enough inflow, the system dies, is that correct? That's the, correct. The bacteria that actually break down the effluent yep, die. And, and so in, in saving water in Del Pedro by, you know, not flushing their toilets and running the showers mm -hmm. longer. They're, they're not putting enough water into that system Absolutely. to make it work properly. Yeah, the citizens that are, that are getting water from the community services district there are under a mandatory water reduction use notice from their system, which results in much less influent coming into the plant. And not to get too technical, but the, the amount of time that the water is supposed to spend in the treatment pond in that plant is 1.8 days. Right now, because of the low influence, it's actually spending three weeks. Oh my goodness. The water spending yeah. three weeks just in the treatment cycle, which has a significant impact on the ability of the yeah. bacteria to treat it. So, a complex problem that we're trying to navigate our way through. Right. And of course, uh, there's a water and wastewater treatment system up in Yosemite West, yes. which have been kind of a problem for Yosemite West and Mariposa County. Yeah, the engineering challenges in Yosemite West are uh, substantial. And uh, yeah, keeping those plants operating properly also is a challenge. Right, and of course the board wants to work with you and solve these issues and hopefully at some point have uh, community service districts set up for Yosemite West and, and uh, for Don Pedro to take those systems back over so they're not county responsibility anymore. Uh, although I'm a relative newcomer in the game, I think that's probably a good uh, landing spot for this for those systems. Yeah. Tell us about the airport. Something good going on out there. Oh, you bet. So I think that uh, the, I see the airport as, a, as an asset to Mariposa County. Yeah. It's absolutely, if you, if you, if we set out today and decided that we wanted 
uh, a runway in a location that would meet all the current codes and would, would be something like that, we would immediately write it off as something we couldn't achieve. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I come to the airport and look at it as an outsider, I see an asset. Yes. And I see it's something that it's in the very best interest of the county to keep operational and certainly is a mechanism by which we can attract visitors to Mariposa County, uh, both just to visit Mariposa, but to obviously as a jumping off point for the park. So the airport's had a little bit of a troubled rocky road the last couple years, uh, given that the county used to operate uh, staff the terminal, and, and we went away from that, and we went into what's called a fixed base operator. Uh, we've, we're in a relationship with a prior company to do that. That didn't uh, end well, and it's kind of been of a holding pattern for the right. last couple of years. But I'm excited because we've identified an interested party to come in and become the FBO from the airport. And the way that I'm calling it is that once we do that, we'll be able to mark on the aeronautical charts that our airport's alive. Yeah. And I, I'm excited about that. So I'm, I'm in the process of negotiating with that party just to make sure that it's fair and that uh, he's both able to succeed as a business enterprise right. and then the county can we can pass the sniff test to the taxpayer that we're we're doing this process fairly but right now all signs are positive and i'm ex i'm excited and looking forward to that yeah that's that's really good news because it, and it's not just a, a tourism mechanism i think it's also can be a, an economic development mechanism. I think that airport can draw business. I'll give you a good example of that, and that is that right now if somebody dials the phone number for the airport, it rings in the front desk in public works because there isn't anybody there. Right. And it's a regular occurrence that somebody intends to fly into that airport from outside, and they're just looking for a place to rent a car so that right. they come into town and get something to eat or go into the park or spend the night. And having that FBO in the airport and providing that service, likely providing a rental car service there, obviously is going to bring in, it's going to bring in a type of visitor that we probably otherwise wouldn't get. Right. Plus, it's a convenience for the folks here in Mariposa. There's no place else to rent a car in the, in the county right now. And having that available at the airport would be a benefit to the citizen of Mariposa. Absolutely. There is bad news, though, on the, on the road front, isn't there? Absolutely. Uh, and so this as you know, and I've educated the board on, you know, the, the way road dollars flow into the county in order to maintain is a complicated, convoluted process that we'd have to have a PowerPoint presentation with about 40 slides to talk about it. But right. fundamentally, the problem resolves around the fact that traditionally, road maintenance has been paid for through a gas tax, something of the equivalent of a gas tax, which makes sense. The more people drive their cars, the more they use the road, the more that they would pay because they're buying more gasoline for their car, and then that money flows back through the federal government and the state of California to the county uh, to maintain roads. Unfortunately, the, the, the trends are not positive, given that uh, as fuel efficiency in cars goes up and more and more electric vehicles hit the highways, uh, the amount of gasoline that's getting sold is, is less. In addition, those taxes are based on the, the price of gasoline, right. which, you know, we all smile when we go to the gas station and we pay less per gallon, but that has a significant effect on the amount of money that flows in. So uh, when we're looking ahead to fiscal year 15, 16 for the county, we're looking at a, a very significant, what I'm just calling a pothole, yes. a big pothole in our road budget. And right now we're trying to come to grips with what that's going to mean for our ability to do road maintenance. And that's, that's what pays for our road crews. That's what pays for our materials. That's what pays for our equipment maintenance. And so it's a pretty significant issue. Yeah. I think one thing that I think that it's important, I think, for the for the watchers, the viewers to understand is it's not it's not a Mariposa County problem. Actually, this this pothole is being felt throughout the state of California, all the other counties, and the state itself as as they come to grips with how they're gonna fund road maintenance. Uh, and the last thing I'll say, sorry if I'm taking too much nope, of your time, maybe you won't right. have me back, <laughs> but uh, you know, the, the conditions of the roads themselves is, is not where we would like it to be. So right. not only are we facing a, a, a future in which the amount of money is coming in, we actually can look at our road systems and, and realize that their current condition is not ideal. So uh, hard enough to maintain what we've got, but the knowledge of what we got, we'd like for it to be better, which you need to have more money than just the maintenance money in order to start closing that gap on your pavement condition index if you want to get all geeky on what that number looks like. Well, plus the longer it goes, the more it snowballs too. The worse it gets, Absolutely. The, the worse it gets, the more it costs to ever come back 
to a, a regular standard for the road. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about infrastructure is sometimes you take it for granted, and sometimes when you realize that you have an issue, it's to the point uh, where it becomes difficult. I think Benjamin Franklin said a stitch in time saves nine. Yeah. So we're, we're looking at some nine stitch solutions to some of our road projects. Yeah, very much so. But at the same time, you're still maintaining the roads. Uh, and one thing I always tell folks is, is call Public Works if you have a problem with the roads. Don't, you know, it, it, as a supervisor, I'm not going to micromanage you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to call you up and say, you need to go over here and fix this pothole. That's not, that's not what I do. That, I want the citizens to be able to call Public Works because, again, you're a customer service organization. And if there's a problem out there, let you know. And, and it will be taken care of. Yeah, and to be perfectly clear, I welcome those phone calls. Because yeah. to be honest with you, uh, at this, at what it provides is an information. Uh, one of the things that has, as since I've been here four months, that continually strikes me is the sheer size of this county. The, yeah. the diversity from the corner down in this side where it's prairie grasslands up into the other side where you're in the mountains with giant pine trees is bad enough, but just to get in the car from my office and go see one corner of the county, that's a half day, three quarter day yes. affair. And so when you, when you talk about that context and the fact that we've got you know, three sets of road crews, it's, it's conceivable that a county em road employee might not be on a particular roadway for a period of time. And yes. so I, I, I welcome the person who lives on that road or drives on that road calling and saying, hey, do you know about this issue? And then what I can't promise is that we'll be out there the next week. Obviously, we have our own priorities that we need to deal right. with, but I, I definitely welcome and invite the conversation. Right. Well, Tony, I'll tell you, it's been a lot of fun. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No, I think we've covered some really good ground here, so I look forward to, uh, I'm just glad to be here in Mariposa County, and I hope that the citizens are, uh, are happy about the level of service they're going to get from their Public Works Department over the coming months. Well, I know I'm glad you're here as, as a member of the Board of Supervisors. I, I'm one of your liaisons, and, and it, it's been a great pleasure working with you in this short period of time. You've made a great difference in Mariposa County. You're a great asset to the county. And, uh, I, folks, come and come and talk to him. Uh, come down to Public Works and say hi because the, he's a great man. He's invested in this community. He's not a carpet bagger, and uh, he's 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 home here, and he's he's going to stay for a while. So again, Tony, I want to thank you for coming in. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you, folks, for coming tuning in today. I guess that's what you call it on a video is tuning in. So. Uh, terminology is changing so fast. Uh, again, Marshall Long, Supervisor District 3 with the Mariposa County Update. Folks, again, thank you for tuning in and watching us. MariposaCounty.org. Give us a call if you need to talk to us or email us. We're always here to provide the information. Thank you and have a great day.